Thank you for joining Stamp It Up with Kathy Goodman. Today we are making a card with the Sweet Ice Cream Stamp Set. It is in the January through June catalog on page 48 and 49. And um, let's get started. Here's the card that we're going to make. Um, we're using um, sentiments and all out of that stamp set. Um, the colors that we're using is the card base is Highland Heather and we're using some old olive and basic white and um, we're just making layers so let's get started putting this together first of all let's start by um, matting the um, old olive on the highland heather and then we're going to use um, designer series paper that is from the sweet ice cream um, set and this paper is retiring um, it is in the um, mini catalog right now so let's add this designer series paper on our mat there we go. So then we're going to add this to, oops, I used the wrong piece. Actually, what I should have done, I can't take it apart. Um, I'm just gonna put this, this should have actually been just glued together on that, just like that. Let's start over here do this correctly we're gonna put this on old olive and then line it up a little bit there just want to make sure you have even borders all the way around then we're gonna put this on our Highland Heather card base and there we go we've got that looks like I'm just gonna move it just a tad there we go okay now for the inside of our card you always want to stamp before you um, glue it down because there's two sides of the paper and if we accidentally make a mistake we can turn it over we're gonna put um, with sprinkles on top and the inside uh, put that into our Highland Heather ink here now we're just going to try to line this up right here There we go, looks pretty good. Now we can add our designer series paper. If you add it first and you make a mistake stamping, then you can't, when you flip it over, you will lose your designer series paper because it'll be on the back side. So let's just put this, line it up as good as we can to get that right by the edge, looks good. So we're going to add this piece to our base, actually to our matting piece, which is Old Olive. And just be sure you get uh, as even of a border all the way around as you can. And then we're going to add this to the inside of our card and that part of it will be done and then we'll work on the front okay so so far this is what we've got we've got with sprinkles on top as the inside and um, now let's set this aside let me get another 
her piece for. This is going to be our card front. We're going to stamp thank you. And I've done this in Highland Heather ink. Uh, you could use Gorgeous Grape if you wanted to, to make it a, just a little bit darker. And I'm going to stamp it towards the left side because I want to leave room for the ice cream cone that we're going to create. You want to press down firmly and then lift it up. Looks like we got a good image. And um, on the sample that I made, I put um, kind of ice cream sprinkles or dots above it. This one Let's do it just a little bit different. Let's actually use the um, sprinkle stamp instead of the other one. We're going to do this in pool party. And I'm going to do one. Then I'm not. I'm going to do the stamp off technique. It leaves it just a little bit lighter and then dark and then another lighter one. There we go. So we actually stamped it four times, but we've only put it in the ink twice. Stamped it twice each time. I'm going to need that for my ice cream. Okay, and then what we can do for fun, we can add some glue dots and add some sprinkles. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five. We'll do five of them. Okay, let's get our little sprinkles and we'll add them to our card front. There we go. Okay, let's get a purple one now. Having trouble getting a hold of it. Got a red one. I don't want a red one. There we go. And put that on our glue dot there. And then let's get another yellow one. And let's do that up at the top. Looks like my glue is, spot is drying up. Let's put a little bit more. Don't want this to fall off. There we go. Now we've added that. Now we can put the lid on our sprinkles so we don't get them spilled everywhere. We can um, put glue on the back of our old olive piece and mat it on to our Highland Tether piece. And here we go, got that. Then we're going to take our card front and mat it on to the old olive piece. Just making sure that you get an even border all the way around. Looks like we did that. Now we're going to set this aside and we are going to actually make our ice cream scoops. So um, 
Let's do one in Highland Heather. So we've got the Highland Heather ink right here. We'll put that right here. There we go. And I'm going to clean our sprinkles. Um, we're going to do this in the same color ink and just do it right over the top. There we go. So we got our sprinkles. Now let's do um, let's do um, crumb cake for our cone. Let's see. I'm going to clean these two because I'm going to need them in another color. Here's our cone. We got crumb cake ink for our cone. We're going to stamp that right up here. Hold, press down firmly and then lift it. And then our, we'll use soft suede for the crisscross in our cone just to add some color difference there we go now what we do is we take our hunch and we turn it upside down put our paper in there make sure we've got it lined up and then we'll cut this scoop out while we have it we're going to go ahead and cut out the cone And get this lined up here. There we go. Now we've got our cone and one of our scoops. Now um, let's do. Well, let's do um, crumb cake ice cream. We'll make it. Um, we're gonna make it look like chocolate. So I'm gonna stamp it off once, and then on here so it makes it look like chocolate and then we'll add our chocolate sprinkles there we go now we can get this scoop punched out this is our chocolate scoop of ice cream we've got Okay, let's do, I'm going to cut that off a little bit, that way we can clean our stamp, and we're going to make a pistachio scoop of ice cream. I'm making this one a little bit different than my sample, just so you can see, um, just by changing up your colors and the different style of stamp instead of doing the dots we did the sprinkles it kind of changes it up a little bit okay so we've got this cleaned so we're gonna dip this into the old olive ink to make our pistachio scoop there we go and Let's try this. I'm going to try this one more time. I'm wanting to get just a little bit lighter color here. So let's stamp this one off and then stamp our. That's better. Okay. Now we need to clean our sprinkle stamp. I'm just using a simple chamois from Stamping Up. And then we'll add our old olive, right, sprinkles right over the top. Very cool. Okay, so now we will close up our ink so we don't get the wrong thing in there. And we're going to punch out this scoop of ice cream, our pistachio. So let's bring our card base back in. We are going to add this piece 
with Stampin' Dimensionals. So we'll bring those in, they're right here. You wanna be careful when you put your Stampin' Dimensionals on that you either put them on this piece here or you measure how far to go so you don't put them. I'm gonna keep my dimensionals on this side because I don't want it to glue my card shut when I put this on top. Okay, so I've put five on there and then we're just gonna take the backs off. There we go. Got all five of them taken off. Put those in the trash. Then we're going to line this up and try to get it even in the middle of our card. There we go. Now to add our ice cream cone and then our scoops of ice cream. So we're going to let this cone hang off just a little bit so I didn't put glue all the way to the end because I want it just to hang off a tad. Actually, I'm going to move it over just a bit more. There we go. Because then we're going to do, let's see how we want to arrange these. We could do the purple down here, the chocolate in the middle, and the pistachio on top. Let's do it that way. That looks kind of cute. Okay, so we're just going to add liquid glue. And again, we're making sure that we don't go over the edge too much because we don't want it to accidentally stick to our card base. Then we're adding our chocolate scoop. So, so we got like a blueberry scoop, a chocolate scoop, and then a pistachio scoop of ice cream going on our cone. There we go. And then you, again, you wanna make sure you don't put um, glue up above because you don't want it to stick together. Okay, so we've made another card, just a little bit different than our original. This one I used the um, stamp set and used this particular um, stamp. On the one that we just made, I used the sprinkles and I used pool party ink for both of them. Um, the scoops of ice cream, I used old olive, um, crumb cake, and Highland Heather. On the inside, I put with sprinkles on top. This one I put sprinkles on the inside in different colors. This one I left plain. So gives you options. We also added some sprinkles to the front of our card. Um, when you add embellishments to your card, you want to make sure you do odd numbers. So if you want to stop at three, that's fine. Um, if you want to add more, then you need to go to five. And if that's not enough, you want to add more, then go to seven. So you always want to have an odd number because that is pleasing to your eye. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed these cards and that you will um, try your hand at making something with the sweet ice cream stamp set from Stamping Up and the wonderful punch that comes with it. Thank you very much. We'll see you later.